Hey guys, Penny Digger here. How y'all doing today? Yeah. Well, I decided I was gonna get out, whether it's cold or not. It, it didn't get out of the 50s today. You know that that to us Southerners down here in the deep south, that that's cold. That's cold. 50 degrees. Whoo! Well, I used to when I lived in Atlanta, and and when I was in my early teens, I lived up in Richmond, Virginia for a while, and up there we got snow pretty much every winter and it got kind of cold um, when I drove tractor trailer in my 20s I've been up in Minnesota in the winter time when we stayed at a hotel one night before we delivered and left the truck running got up the next morning and started to go to deliver and the damn thing froze up the fuel filter froze up and it running <laughs> That was cold. I had on a uh, like a Daniel Boone jacket, one of those suede jackets with the lining and fringe on it. And you didn't button that thing up unless it was seriously cold. And I had it buttoned up and I was freezing. And uh, I think it was like 70 below with the wind chill. It, it was cold. It was it was a Keithy Six kind of cold. I mean, it was cold. But we had to walk about a mile back to the hotel and get a record to come get the truck and go to haul it in and change fuel filters and reprime it and everything it was a lot of fun but uh yeah I've, I've been in the cold and it didn't used to bother me when I was younger and then I moved down here in 2006 and we're right we're 15 miles from the Florida line we're 30 miles from Tallahassee Florida which is the capital of the state and uh summer times get seriously hot down here I mean seriously hot and just about every afternoon it seems like we get those sea breezes come in off the gulf and we get a nice little thunderstorm or, or normally uh, last year it seemed like we couldn't buy a damn rain shower but uh, now we had this one that was four days and twelve and a half inches of rain in four days uh, there's still a lot of places that are inundated with floodwaters but Luckily, we dodged the bullet, bullet right here where we're at. And it's cloudy today. Didn't get out of the 50s, like I say, but the wind is what really gets you. It was cutting through you. But I uh, got out there and did a little bit of digging anyway. Didn't find much today, but... Tommy, you carry Give her a rent. But uh, a bad day metal detecting is better than a good day, you know, sitting on the couch and just doing nothing but uh anyway here's what I found today you know I got my my obligatory junk uh, some aluminum and aluminum and a little bit more aluminum and aluminum and some more aluminum and aluminum and it wouldn't be a hunt without a pull tab or two and and that's just what I got I got two pull tabs this about made my heart stop when I seen it because that gold color but uh, I think it's the top of a perfume bottle or something it's heavy but nothing to it I don't know what this is thought it was a bullet at first but it's not found a little little electrical terminal and either they've been using some shitty backpacks or some shitty tarps or because there's another grommet and found a pair of cheap very cheap kids earrings this one's got the French wire on it and this one's got the little stone on it but it doesn't have the French wire on it well it did have and it was entwined in some roots and when my son was trying to pull it up it snapped right off so then I got got a 1996 D dime that cleaned up pretty I only got five pennies today none of them wheats they're all memorials and I think three of them are Zinc and Lincoln's but I did manage to get a, a half dollar I sure did. I got I got a half dollar. I got a fifty cent. Well, I got a fifty centavo piece. Does that count? Yeah. See here. 
I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'm trying to get it with a light of shine on it just right. That's 50 centavos. Got the pretty little Aztec pattern there on the back. Yep. 50 centavos. Ain't that sweet? I don't know where I'd hell I'd ever spend it, except for Medico. And I'm not planning on going to Medico. What? 50 centavos. They make their half dollars out of copper, ain't that some shit? Yep, that's all I got today, guys. That, that's sad, ain't it? That's sad. I didn't even get the money for a cup of coffee. <laughs> but anyway like I said a bad day getting out finding junk and, and a few pennies is still better than just sitting around the house so I got out and I had fun finding shit and that's what it's all about getting out and having fun getting a little exercise and getting that fresh air so guys I hope y'all get out and find you a little bit of something for too much longer I know some of y'all about to go go stir crazy and getting that cabin fever I know Paul and Ben they're, they're getting crazy up there of course Paul don't worry about getting in a snowball fight with Ben he can't hit you no ways <laughs> talking about he's going to get in his fort and throw through that little hole he can't hit that little hole much, much less throw through it he can't hit the windshield he throws at the windshield and hits the tire so I don't think you got nothing to be scared of but uh Keithy, it don't bother him. He's going to get out and hunt regardless. River Rat, too. He's out there in 30-degree weather walking along in waders in that damn champ. I don't know how he does it. Me and the wife, were pointing, I pointed that out earlier the other day. I said, look at this. you got snow on this bank and snow on this bank. Temperature in the 30s. He's out there in waders walking in the water. Damn, that boy's part penguin. I know he is. But, uh... Anyway, give the shout outs to Paul and Ben up there in Michigan and River Rat up there. I think he's in Michigan too. And Keithy Six up there in Alaska and EC Treasure Hunters up there in Delaware. And give a shout out to my buddy Mike out there in, in Arizona and his and Treasure Hunter. He's out there too, guys. Y'all get out there and have some fun. Find something, even if it's wrong. We'll talk to you later. This is Penny Digger, and we're out.